basketball has become a game that is loved globally, with the NBA being the mecca of it all. Kids worldwide dream of becoming the next Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, or LeBron James. However, of the many young aspiring NBA basketball players, only 60 are selected in each year's NBA draft. It's a special night when dreams come true. My name is Matt Babcock. Basketball, the NBA, and the NBA draft have been integral parts of my life. I want to welcome you to join me as we peel back the curtain on my whirlwind life as an NBA draft analyst and scout. The travel, the cultural experiences of the small towns and the big cities, the meetings, the discoveries, and the game as I scour the map domestically and internationally to learn about top NBA prospects, subsequently revealing the next NBA greats and what it takes to reach the highest level. I'll take you on a journey worldwide as I soak up everything the world has to offer while identifying and learning about the future stars of the NBA. Tell me about your family's history in the game of basketball. Yeah, I was, I was born into a, a basketball family, the Babcock family. My, uh, my dad, my two uncles have, have all worked in the NBA for, you know, my, my entire life. First, I was born into a basketball family, the Babcock family. My uncle Pete Babcock began working in the NBA as a volunteer scout for the New Orleans Jazz in the late 1970s. He turned that opportunity into a career one could only fantasize about as he led multiple NBA teams as their general manager from the early 1980s through the 1990s. My uncle Rob Babcock followed in his footsteps, also having a longtime career as an NBA executive for multiple teams. He was a general manager at one point too. My dad, Dave Babcock, the youngest Babcock brother, started working in the NBA as a scout in the late 1990s after coaching in the college ranks for 15 years. He became a member of the Milwaukee Bucks front office shortly after and has been an executive with the team ever since. He played a vital role in the team selecting Giannis Antetokounmpo with the 15th pick in the 2013 NBA draft, which is considered one of the best draft picks in NBA history. In 2021, my dad earned a championship ring with our Babcock name engraved on the side. I also have two younger cousins, Chris and Nate Babcock, who have worked as coaches for various NBA teams. So as you can see, basketball is our family business. As for me, I mentioned that I'm an NBA draft analyst, but what is that? To put it simply, I'm like an NBA scout, but rather than working for a team, I work in the media. I spend a lot of time researching and evaluating NBA prospects because I'm responsible for putting together player rankings, an NBA mock draft, and providing insight and analysis through written articles and on-camera interviews. But before that, I grew up as a player and then worked as a sports agent where I represented professional basketball players for more than 10 years. I was born into it, but I chose basketball at a young age and have been chasing the game from one angle or another my entire life. Okay, here we go. Three, you hold it up for us. Three, two. <laughs> Talk to me about what it was like. As an NBA draft analyst and scout, I can never gather enough information on prospects. There's always more to learn, so I spend years evaluating them, often getting a head start when they are in high school at just 15 or 16 years old. So typically, I know what prospects are all about far before they're selected on draft night. And I get to know many of them personally. I get to know their families, coaches, agents, and friends along the way too. I was recently in New York for the 2022 NBA draft. In the days leading up to the big night, I was able to catch up with many draft prospects. I attended a workout to see Malachi Brandon from Ohio State, who I got to know through his agent, a good friend named Nate Conley. Malachi had an interesting season as he started slow, but erupted midway through the year, putting himself in the mix as a possible early entry for the 2022 NBA draft. Hey Malcolm, we got a big day. It's draft day, right? Long way today. Um, you're gonna be in the green room. Tonight's the night. Find out where you're going. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. You know, I just had to get some medals out. Um, you know, I'm in the gym now, so um, shot the ball well. So I'm just, I'm excited. Yeah, so what, what happened for all? You know, click free for all this to happen. I mean, this is, I'm assuming a dream come true. Yeah, yeah. But what happened so right for, for all these good things to happen? Yeah, I feel like it was just my mindset that changed. Um, you know, like I said, I started off slow in the beginning. Everybody know that. Um, then my mindset just changed. I was just being more aggressive, just playing how I know how to play. And I feel like that's what changed. And I was able to make it here. So. Yeah. Well, he never looked back. 
He entered the draft in the San Antonio Spurs selected Malachi with the 20th overall pick. I also spent time with Marjan Bochin from the G League Ignite. I met Marjan several years ago through a trainer named Frank Marciano, also known as Hell's Trainer. At first, I questioned if Marjan would make it. I thought he was thin and had a questionable attitude and approach. Credit to him though, he addressed his issues and turned them into strengths. He had a terrific season while playing with the G League Ignite. I told him in New York before the draft that I was proud of how far he had come. Started here, he went even lower and then brought himself back up. The Milwaukee Bucks, my dad's team, selected Marjan with the 24th overall pick. I also caught up with Kentucky's Ty Ty Washington. I watched Ty Ty a lot while he was in high school and became close with the staff at his school, AZ Compass Prep. I also got to know some of his family members as well. When he was growing up, when did you realize that he could be a big time basketball player? Uh, about six months ago. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, you know, last year everyone said how good he was. I was like, that's cool. I gotta see it. This past season, I visited Lexington multiple times to see several of the Kentucky players. They're always loaded. Still, Ty Ty was my main focus this past season as I considered him the top point guard prospect in the entire draft. More, more excited or more nervous right now? Uh, I'm more excited. Uh, not really nervous, but at the end of the day, we can't control who, where we go get, or where we get picked. That you know, hopefully we do get picked, and wherever team that picks me, just really just be blessed with the opportunity. I mean, it only takes one team to believe in you, so. Once the team believes in you, just go in there believing yourself, put in the hard work, and just have fun. I mean, we all dream about this from growing up, so it's like no need, no need to be nervous that it's here now. Just go out there and, and pretty much embrace it and take it. So I'm really excited. The Houston Rockets selected Ty Ty with the 29th overall pick. I got to know a lot of the draft prospects this year, so being at the Barclays Center on draft night to hear their names called and see them celebrate with their friends and family was obviously special for them, but for me too. Although I may have only played a small part in their journeys, still, I did have a part. And since I knew how far they had come and the hurdles they had to surpass to get to that point, I was thrilled to see all of them walk across that stage to shake Adam Silver's hand. I already have some great trips penciled into my schedule for the upcoming season, where of course, I'll see a lot of great basketball. Still, these trips will also allow me to explore the world. I'm looking forward to traveling abroad and strolling the streets of Paris, soaking up Spanish culture in Barcelona, visiting old friends in Belgrade, and even making my way to the land down under. Then I'll hit my regular spots domestically, like Atlanta, Chicago, Las Vegas, and New York. I'll also make some stops at some of my favorite college towns, like Arkansas, Duke, Oregon, and Texas. I think you get the point by now. Scouting and travel go hand in hand. Well, I intend to make the most of it. There's an entire world of basketball out there. So join me as I continue what I consider to be my life's mission of chasing the game.